Now that our horizontal design is complete, we can turn our attention to the vertical design. To create a proposed profile, first we need to know what the existing surface profile looks like. I'm going to create a profile from a surface. To create a profile, you have to have an alignment. I have a very long list of alignments, so I'm going to use the object picker to select my design alignment. Then we have to pick the surface we'd like to sample. I'm going to sample my profile off of the composite surface. I click Add, and it's just that simple. A profile is created. Now, if I were to click OK at this point, you still wouldn't see a profile because in order to view a profile, they have to be drawn in profile views. So that's obviously the next step. We're going to draw the profile in a profile view. This pulls up the Create Profile View wizard. Uh, you have your alignment and your profile view name. And I'm going to select Full Grid for my profile view style. Here we can specify station limits for our alignment and profile, uh, as well as our profile view height. I'm going to leave this set to automatic, uh, so it'll display the whole thing. We can select data bands, which are similar to uh, geometry bands that we, uh, uh, our geometry labels that we created earlier. And uh, now I'm going to place my profile view. Uh, you place the origin, which is the lower left corner of the profile. Let's take a look at this profile view. Let's edit the profile view style, and you'll see that we have quite a few options. The very first one is the grid, and this is where you define your vertical exaggeration for the profile. You'll see here that our profile is exaggerated by a factor of 10. Uh, we can change up the grid display the uh, title information and the horizontal and vertical axes as well here. We'll look at that in a later lesson.